The Vernon Vikings finished last year 3-15, and fifth in the Colonial Division. Despite the record, optimism is higher on the program as the PAL and junior high teams have been producing numbers for the varsity. Assistant coach John Logie is excited about the prospects for his squad and think they could surprise some people on the mat this year. Um, yeah, we're certainly happy to have the numbers up. Um, we have uh, some pieces in place in the lower levels to get the pipeline of kids flowing. Uh, some really great work being done at the, uh, the PAL level and up through the middle school. And uh, as long as we can keep the, the numbers coming in, uh, we'll have more to work with, obviously. With that being said, uh, some kids are coming out for the first time, so it's, uh, it's a chore to get them up to where they need to be in terms of their knowledge base so they're not swimming in deep waters. Uh, apart from that, being able to fill a uh, being able to fill a full lineup is, is going to help us out greatly. We gave away a lot of matches last year um, due to forfeits, and uh, we're hoping to go head to head with a lot of people and uh, you know make make a little bit of noise for Vernon. One of those wrestlers Vernon will rely on is John Alvarez, the senior who finished last year 13 and 11 and advanced to regions, is excited by the numbers in the room and hopes to help them advance as far as he did a year ago. Well, this year we definitely have a lot more people and there's a lot of potential in the room. If we keep working the way we are, we have potential of winning a couple matches, a couple more matches than last year, which I'm hoping we can do so and I'm hoping to have some more people accompany, through, accompany me through the districts into the regions this year. And I'm just, I, I see a lot of people working hard and I just want, I'm just trying to keep it up as fast paced as I can so that everybody stays working hard and harder every day. While Vernon puts the hard work in the room, I'm not sure how well that'll translate to the mat. Numbers are up, but a lot of the wrestlers they have are inexperienced, and that might not even help at all. They won't give up the forfeits, but I'm not sure how many wins they'll get. I do think they'll improve on last year's record and finish closer to 500 with about six or seven wins, and I think they'll finish fourth in the Colonial Division. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.